Hey there, my name is Mark Rowan with Dine Digital, and today we're going to be talking about recipes for restaurant survival of COVID-19. It's all anybody is talking about right now, so we wanted to join the conversation and hopefully give some helpful ideas and tips on how uh, the restaurant industry can continue to thrive and not only just survive, but really thrive. And so we're going to talk a little, a little bit about that. And um, first of all, about the chef. Okay, I'm not a chef. Uh, I am a marketer, but Dine Digital cooks up some fantastic stuff. You just can't eat it, which is a real problem. But we do leave the actual food preparation and presentation to the pros. What we can do is help restaurants market better and in turn fill up their tables. Now, that's part of the problem right now. Tables are not open to be filled. But that's our overall goal, and that will change. So I lead the charge, and I've been helping businesses get more of their out of their online presence for over 20 years. And this particular venture is new. So Dine Digital itself, like if you go to our profiles and notice, it's just brand spanking news. Not a lot going on yet, but we're building up. Uh, we have been working with restaurants, and so we decided um, why launch right now in the midst of a virus outbreak when restaurants can't even take people in but really it looks to me like this is the best time to help the restaurant industry and so ultimately we will fill your tables so you can fill their bellies so that's what we're about right so onward to the task at hand five recipes for restaurants number one we've got to adjust the mindset and the menu so uh, if you haven't already done this, which I'm assuming pretty much everybody has, it's about um, not only offering curbside and, and delivery and then new kids options if they're not already there, but really have to think uh, outside the box, like we say in the preparation section here. We can no longer maybe do all the things we've always done. You know, just because you haven't done it doesn't mean you can't do it now. Um, so it's just an adjustment period of, not only how you're doing things, but how we're thinking. So we got to think what's, what can we do with what we have and make the best out of a, not an ideal situation, right? Here's some beautiful pictures of food that makes us hungry. So we'll move right along. The second recipe is talking about creating content. And so 30 minutes and it serves everyone, right? Uh, it can take less than that. So you need to stay active on social media during this time. And we're going to take a look at the factory kitchen. They're out of England and they're doing some fun stuff on their social media. Check this out. This guy's looking for some uh, help. Amazing curbside service. We really like what they're doing with that. Uh, they all followed it up with a little bit of uh, beverage service. All right, here we go. She's ready to serve, and he's thirsty, so it works. Good job. All right, so just in general, the idea that um, they're doing something fun out of the box and just keeping in front of their customers, and so – that's the challenge for all of us is to when we're isolated from one another physically uh, we're not uh, isolated on the internet we can reach out to all kinds of people that we wouldn't normally uh, have the opportunity to so we have more time for that so be active there one, another idea would be to maybe share a secret recipe or something something that you normally wouldn't be able to do um, have your chef maybe come up with some different things that can be shared that people can do at home if they're not able to um, you know get out as much as they normally would right the next recipe is to introduce new products and services so some ideas there could be you could do some uh, online um, uh, cooking classes and uh, you could maybe do some healthy grocery shopping tips and um, and even a one-on-one -on -one done with you cooking. So these are things that uh, you could monetize uh, some of these things because um, you have lots of tools available to you these days through the internet. And you can set up a service um, for classes, uh, for um, doing like consultation on much, almost, but it's uh, with the actual uh, chef. 
so you're gonna there's gonna be some people that would be up for that type of uh, service so think about those type of things your imagination is the limit here what skills and talents you already have to access to that you can leverage during this time because the digital world has opened up huge opportunities to reach beyond our brick and mortar right so we have to take advantage of that as well okay we got to get our pointer back because we like to plan for the future this might take more than one hour but it does serve everyone it might take less than an hour but the key ingredients are guts or risk, hope, and wisdom. So everyone wants to exercise wisdom during this time um, because we don't know what's going to happen next with, uh, you know, what the government wants us to do and all those kind of things. But at the same time, we can't shut down completely inside uh, our mind. That's the key thing. We've got to keep hope alive and, and realize that this is going to pass along and then we're going to have opportunity uh people are going to really want to eat because everyone has to eat. So we got to just uh, realize there will be some risk involved in all this. We all, we all understand that. Um, and I'm sure as a restaurant uh, tutor are very keenly aware of the risk involved with getting into this industry, but the rewards are awesome when you can create great food and people and just enrich people's lives. So the preparation is to position yourself to capitalize after this is all over and to always focus on the needs of your customer and you will be rewarded. So keep that in mind as you're planning for the future. Don't only think about how we can get by for today. You have to do that to a certain extent, but we gotta look at what's gonna happen after this. The last recipe, you gotta ask for help. And this can take 30 seconds or less. And it does, once again, serve everyone. So we have the opportunity to rally together at this time not only locally, wherever you're at, but also in the dining community with your peers, you know, reach out, see what people are doing that's working. Uh, I know I've heard already that uh, some of the interesting things kind of uh, talking about thinking outside the box as we did before, um, restaurants reaching out to the local school systems to see if they can get, uh, provide some food for some of the kids that, um, you know, that need lunches and things of that nature and uh, getting vouchers from the government to cover those costs and not that you're trying to make tons of money but you're you're just doing uh, things outside the box you know reaching out to first responders giving um, deals uh, to them that maybe you already have that but just making that known uh, in, the re in the hospitals as well there's some of those people are being sent home i've heard this already that um, like the in-house um, cafeteria are not running and so the people in their actual uh, hospital are maybe don't have access to food like they did before so those are some opportunities to not only ask for help but to give help and in just position your restaurant as a pillar in the community as well and please take advantage of our free strategy session we have that available to you on the marketing side of things love to talk to you and offer any advice and tips on how to uh, continue to move forward uh, during the COVID-19 outbreak. All right. So you can contact us through these means. Hello at Dine Digital is our email. There's no .com. So Dine.Digital is the actual website. It's not even done yet. So if you went there, you'll just see kind of a one-page thing saying, hey, it's coming soon. Uh, and we're real fresh on all of our social media. But we felt like Now's the time to take action and really try to help people um, in this industry to get through this and to position himself in strength as it passes by. All right, you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for stopping by.